have to sort of, you know, be more comfortable and opening that relationship. Make sense? Good work. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Yeah, see, I'm going to get to it already. My apologies. It's going well, guys. It's going well. I'm getting to all the information. I'm not missing anything. Great. Ben, mate. How are you, mate? Good. What do you got? Uh, Ziggy. Ziggy, great. Nice hit. Fusion nerves. Whatever you like, Luke. New journey. You tell me. Give me three adjectives to describe this character. Um, I'm going to change it up a little bit to what the sure. it what says. Um, I think he's playful, yeah, a little bit cocky, and yeah. a little bit of an idiot. Right. Yeah. And he'd sit. That uh, character would sit. Well, where he where his computer in front of me. I'm at work on the computer. Is this the same way you're talking about Melody? Yeah. Where does it say you're in front of a computer and you sit? Well, this is what I've thought. I'm sitting in front of a computer and he. But you've now you've now actually. You've brought all the energy in, haven't you? Because the relationship between a person and the computer is this. Okay? Yeah, and he sits across from me, so... Yeah, you've killed the energy in the scene. I'm going to say no. No? No. I'm going to be that asshole casting bit. Sorry, right. the camera's set up for you to stand. You can't sit down. All right, I'll stand. Makes sense? Energy. Hey. Dylan. Dylan, you busy, man? You throw me now that I'm not. I, 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 I tell you what to do, Toby. I could really use some advice. Ben. 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 Sit. Sit. Do it. Give me yours. I beg your pardon. Alright. Sweet. Go. Hey. Dylan. Dylan. You busy man? I could really use some advice here. Okay, where do I start? You know the chick that works at the cryptic decoding desk at Division? Red hair, good friend of mine. Yeah, her name's Sharon. Sharon. Yeah, well, anyway, she's got this friend that works at Data History Archive. And I mean, wow, man, you should see this girl. So I finally convinced Sharon to introduce it. Sharon. And I mean, this girl, man, even her name is beautiful. It's, uh, it's Melanie. Melody. Yeah, right. Yeah, so now I'm desperate to talk to her, hey. I'm going down the archive office every chance I get, registering any old pre-war documents I can find, junk mail, grocery lists, the maths test I flunked in the seventh grade. Do you realise I digitally scanned May 97 through to August 99 issues of Cat Fancy magazine just so I could keep going down there to file them? So Melanie... Melody. She starts showing this sudden interest in me. Man, she's flirting, she's dropping hints that she wants to come over. I know, man, I got suspicious too. I was like, what's wrong with this girl? Maybe she's dirty. But <laughs> it wasn't until I filed June 98 Abyssinian short hair special that it hits me. She thinks I've got a cat. She loves cats, and actually she assumes I've got one. Or at least got one. So I'm like, do I tell her the truth? I mean, she's gonna find out sooner or later anyway, right? But at the same time, this girl is actually paying attention to me. Man, this could be a rare cosmic event, like an eclipse or comet or some shit. Man, this might not come around for another hundred years. I'm not gonna miss out on it. So, I guess what I'm really trying to ask you is this. Do you know anyone who can get me a cat for the next 47 minutes? Any breed, I'm in no position to be picky. Ah, uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Should just lay the old cards out on the table, eh? How long do you think it'd take the doc to harvest one in the lab? Great. Ah, uh, you're right. Right again. Point taken. Thanks for the help, man. Good chat. Good work. <coughs> Good work. Good. What? Ben. Ben. What Ben did then was he created a he created a Ziggy that is absolutely he's the only person in the world.